Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm here to share with you my update for Beauty A to Z. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project that was created by Jessica and Amanda. And the goal is to roll in one product for every letter of the alphabet. I decided to do this last year and I'm doing it again this year where I'm actually rolling in one skincare, beauty care, hair care item for every letter of the alphabet, and then also one makeup item. So I'm working on like 52 products in this project. So we're gonna start with the beauty, skincare, body care, etc. section. And I do have one item that's rolling out today. That is for the letter Z. It's the Bath and Body Works, what do they call this? Their creamy foaming body scrub and saltwater breeze. This this packaging is all kinds of flaky right now, so I just, ugh. Anyway, this is finished. I thought this product was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. I prefer the, whoops, the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. Now for the items that I am working on. This one I think I've used once. I'm working on another cleanser to finish. It's a deluxe size, and I'm just, I'm just like, I gotta finish it. So I have a little bit left in that. And then this one will get pretty much consistent use from there on out. By El Genis is the Gentle Reju Rejuvenating Cleanser. This is an okay cleanser, not my favorite. I will be happy when it's out of my collection. This is for the letter A. I did not mention that. This is for the letter D. The Dr. Brandt Antioxidant Spray Toner with Green and White Tea Extract. So there is my progress. I don't, I think I probably rolled this in halfway through the month of February or maybe even later. I This is okay. I'm using this after I do an acid toner, and I typically will spray this on a cotton pad. I like the Shiseido facial cotton, and apply it to my face that way. It's okay. There's not a lot of product in here. There's 100 mils, 2.4 ounces, so I should be able to get through that fairly quickly. For the letter E, I have by Elizabeth and James the Nirvana Black Perfume. I roll this one into finish. So I previously used half of this, and that's where I started was the little dot there. And this line here is where I am now. So I'm kind of going getting to the point where this is almost out of season. I've started to work on another Elizabeth and James Perfume, Nirvana White, because that's more of a floral for spraying. So I probably won't spray this very often. I could even use this as a mixer because it's a lovely scent. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's go spray a little bit right now. Oh, it's so pretty. I prefer this one over white. Black is m much more my vibe. Making progress. For the letter H, I have by Hand Skin the Hyaluron Eye Serum. And I do use this every morning. You can see my progress there. I was for a while using this morning and night, but I have since transitioned to another evening serum. So this is mostly morning. And you can see I do have really good progress. And over the next couple of months, this should be done, which is very exciting. For the letter K, I have a hand cream by KL Polish. It's in the scent, in the almond scent. You can see my progress there. I'm super happy with this. I probably have mentioned this before, but I have my reminding me to put on hand cream two or three times a day. I think it's three times. I don't always listen to her, but it does help me get through hand cream a little bit quicker than I was last year. For the letter M, I have by May Coop the raw sauce, and I just started using this last month or over the last month, you can see my progress there. So I have two essences that I'm working on. This one I use in the morning, and then I use the Dr. Cyrical Kombucha Tea Essence in the evening, because that one's more hydrating. But I do like this one in the morning, and I actually also like to use this on the KP on my um, on my arms. So every once in a while, if I remember, I'll, I'll apply it to my arms, and it really helps kind of tone down the the redness and the bumpiness for the of the KP. For the letter Q, I don't have progress on this yet, but I will start using this pretty consistently. The Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I have a deluxe size that I'm working on now, but I'm going to go ahead and roll this in and start alternating because this has 2.5 ounces of product. It's a lot, so I need to start working on this. Whew. Next, for the letter S, no, this is for the letter U. 
I have the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion. This is an SPF that I use on my face. I don't really want to waste this on my body. This is such a beautiful sunscreen. I did take, like, pour some of this into little travel containers when I went to the beach. And so that's where the progress is. I'm currently working on, I finished one. I'm working on the other one. It's almost finished. And then once I finish that travel size container, I'll go back to using this on a daily basis. I love the sunscreen. Love, love, love. It's kind of a, if you have dry skin, I would definitely give that one a try. This is another product that I haven't really started using yet, but I should start to see progress over the next month by Coastal Rex, the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I love this serum. It's a great hydrating serum. I kind of prefer this. I prefer to use this as a serum versus an essence. I think it's too thick for an essence. As a comparison, you see how liquidy this one is and this one is it's a little bit thicker. So anyway, this will probably start getting used over the next month or so. We'll see. I've got some other ones that I'm working on that are hydrating as well, but I feel like I'm close to finishing them. And this as well should start to get some use over the next month. The Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Bright Eye Cream. I'm working on a deluxe size sample right now, but I'm hoping that will be finished pretty soon. And then I'll work on this one. It's for under my eyes versus on my lids. So this will start getting used pretty soon. Very excited. So that's all the like skincare, body care, etc. items I'm working on. Let me put the stuff away and then we will talk about the makeup I'm working on. Okay, I do have two items that can roll out this month. For the letter K, I have the Kosas Color and Light Cream Duo in 8th Muse. And my goal was to hit pan in the blush and I did. So now I have pan in both the highlighter and the blush in this palette. I love this product so much. It's such, oh, don't, pan don't go away. It's such a beautiful duo, but it is one of those that tends to go bad very quickly. So I need to continue to roll it into projects. There are the two shades, it's so pretty. Then the second item I can roll out is for the letter Q. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche, no, High Pigment Lip Pencil in Quince. And I rolled this in to use a third of what was left in here, and I did. I thought about rolling it in to finish it, but I decided that my original goal was a third. I'm going to stick to that because I've got so many other lip products I'm working on that this will just be one of those that I have to remember to roll into projects. In fact, I'm going to set it in an area where I've got lip products that are kind of close to being finished on my vanity and then I will remember to reach for it. So those are the two items that are rolling out. Now for the items I'm still working on. For the letter A, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. I do have really good progress on this. I don't know that I'm going to finish it in the next month because that's how much is left in here. Because I am also working on the brow dip pomade that's in my turn and burn. And basically the days that I have the time to pull that out and put it on I do and until that's finished so this one will I'll continue to work on but it's probably not going to get as much use or there's not gonna be as much progress as we've seen over the first two months then for the letter C I have the cover effects custom custom enhancer drops this is in moonlight I rolled this into finish which is going to be challenging. I That is my progress in the last month. So I use this on my face as an illuminator after I do primer. And the dropper on this is not working so hot. In fact, let me just see. I don't think it's, it's working now. But basically what I do is I take what's on the dropper and I rub it onto my hands and then I apply that to my face. I do like this illuminator. I think I like this better on my face in the way that I'm using it now than Celestial. Celestial was a little bit too icy. This one's really pretty. For the letter D, I have the Dior Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in the shade 002. I think that's pink glow. So here's the highlighting package. That's the packaging. And then here's the highlighter. I rolled this one in to finish too. I don't know what I was thinking. I am working on it. I try to use it every single day, whether it be on its own or as a mixer. I will try to put a picture of what this looked like last month over in the corner to show you my progress. 
There's the shade. It's so pretty. I should have swatched this cover FX for you. There is the cover FX and there's the Dior highlighter. I love it. So hopefully we'll be able to see some kind of progress since the last month. There's what it looks like again. Is there progress? <laughs> Next for the letter E, I have the Essence lip liner in the shade Satin Mauve. Here it is. I rolled this into finish as well. Here's all that's left in here. There is a, a small amount of progress, but you know, it's I've used it now. This pencil is very, very hard. I used it today in a Get Ready With Me, which you'll probably see after this. And it was challenging to use, but I can still use it. So we're just going to keep working on it. I may add a drop of Duraline to this to help it along. We'll see if that, if that makes a difference. Next for the letter F, I have the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup in the shade Porcelain L1. I have not used this very much. You can see a teeny tiny amount of progress. I think I use this to mix with another foundation. It's not my focus one right now. I am focusing a bit more on a darker foundation. I'm actually working on a turn and burn foundation. I don't, I don't know why I'm holding the sponge. Turn and burn foundation. So I'm mixing it with a lighter foundation than this one but I think this will get more use in the well it's porcelain probably I'll continue to work on this as a mixer I think this is a darker shade for it being like, like it's porcelain but it's not the lightest foundation I have it would also actually also be a good mixer next for the letter G I have by Glossier the cherry balm.com skin salve i use this as a lip balm you can see my progress there i do like to use this in the morning i go into the kitchen make a cup of coffee and then i uh, put this on my lips it's not my favorite product especially because of the color and the because this gets all over my sheets if i put it on my lips before going to bed and because this is a little bit older it's kind of clumpy they're like little hard can't really see them but you can feel them anyway it's fine it smells fine i just need to get it finished next for the letter j i have bought by jordana the easy liner for lips and baby berry i think this has very little progress and my goal is to finish this and that is what is left in here i really would love to get this one done i have been focusing a bit more on lip liners in my on my vanity but I need to, so maybe I'll roll this one onto my, into this drawer. Because every day when I, after I do my makeup, I apply a lip liner and then I do something for my voice set, like lipstick palette or turn and burn products. Maybe I'll leave them. Maybe I'll leave both my lip liners here. So I remember to use them. Next for the letter L, I have by L'Oreal, the Infallible Paints. This is in the shade Nude Star, and I rolled this one into finish. That is my progress. You can see pretty consistent progress. I like to keep this in my purse um, because it's a really easy to apply lip product. There's my reminder. There's the shade there. It's so pretty. Anyway, making progress. Next for the letter P, I have by Physicians Formula. Their custom eye enhancing eyeliner in the shade. Well, this is from the Warm Nude Eyes set. This is a bronze shade. Here is the color. And my goal is to finish this. That is how much is left. I do have some progress, I think, if I remember correctly. Not as much as last month, but there's the shade there. Can't remember why. <laughs> I just didn't reach for it as much. Next for the letter R, I have by Revlon the Color Stay Foundation in the shade number 200. This is the shade Nude. I rolled this one into finish and I am down to here. I had progress on this previously. So that's where I am now. I don't think it's going to be a problem finishing this. I will eventually scrape the sides down. That's one of my favorite foundations. For the letter S, I have the Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream product in the shade Lilium. And I roll this one into Hit Pan. That is my progress, so I'm not even close. I do have a small dip going. 
this isn't my focus right now. I have some other cream cheek products that I'm focusing a bit more on. There's the shade. I feel like this is a good summer shade. So we'll see. I'm working on another cheek product that's in this project and another one that's in, I don't remember what project it's in. It doesn't matter. But yeah, it'll eventually, it'll get its use. I love, love, love this formula and love this color. For the letter U, I have by L'Oreal the Infallible, this is all rubbed off, Pro Gloss and Undeniable Mauve. I rolled this into use 13, 30 times, excuse me. I had 10 uses last month. I'm only up to 13. So I have, what, 17 to go? There's the shade there. It's really pretty. And I'm super excited. Of course, I just messed it up, but I am starting to see windowing. It's about here now which is great. I don't, I can't tell how much is in here. I'm sure it was on somewhere here and it's all rubbed off. Anyway, so 17 uses to go on that. Then for the letter V, I have the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on eye pencil in Voodoo. I do have, I think pretty good progress on this. This is a purple eyeliner that I do want to finish. So there is the shade. I do like to mix this with a blue eyeliner that I have from Mary Kay. Like I, I used a different blue eyeliner today, but this would actually work really well with this eye look. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Anyway, really enjoy that eye pencil. For the letter W, this is the other cheek product that I was talking about. The Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush and Illuminator Stick. I'm working on the blush side, which is the shade Bare. And you can see that's how much I've used so far. I want to finish this. There's the shade. There's the shade. <laughs> and there's a swatch, which kind of a bad swatch. But anyway, there's, I love it. It's so easy to do blush draping with because you can just do this business and you'd be done. I really do enjoy this product. It's a nice blush. And then lastly, for the letter Z, I did start working on this Tarte CH2O Balm in the shade Zen. I roll this in to use half which is probably going to be a bit challenging, but I'm, I'm kind of excited with how things are going with this. So there's some progress. There's not a lot, but this is usually a very pointy product. Let me see if I have another one where I can show you what it looks like. I think I've, I think I've worked on this one a little bit, but you can see the difference. And so I'm super excited because I do feel like I've made pretty decent amount of progress. Let me show you how much is left in here. This is a very inappropriate looking product. Anyway, a good amount left. So I need to get down to about here or so. Still a ways to go, but I do like this product quite a bit. It looks lighter on my lips than I thought it would. I mean, I guess it is a light shade. I was thinking it would be darker, but anyway, I really do enjoy it. It's great to have either in your purse or I have this sitting currently by like at my desk, my work desk. And that way, if I just need to hydrate my lips real quick and I don't have my lip bag with me, this is easy to grab and just throw on. I really do like it. It kind of goes with everything. So that is everything I'm working on. I don't know what I'm going to have. This isn't even close. I don't know what I'm going to have finished before the next update. I don't think anything on the makeup side. I'd be surprised if I had anything finished on the makeup side. I don't know that I'm going to have anything rolled out next month, which is fine, but we will see. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.